Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, this is number five and build your own radionic machine. And this is probably going to be the last uh, part of this because of the fact that you can't build your own radionic machine properly. Now, you certainly can build a very typical tuning machine, which no matter how much money you spend is going to be very similar to that circuit I showed you, which is this, this machine. Or it's going to be some complete piece of computerized garbage made by some government agent or some delusional monkey guy. Uh, the usual garbage you get out there. But even if you get a quality instrument made by someone, no matter who it is, and you may get dangerous stuff like orgone. And so, I mean, this industry is fraught with problems, people. Why? Because of the fact of how powerful it really is. Well, I have all the units. I have over 40 machines from the Abrams all the way up to today. And in between, I have a Hieronymus machine. I have all the machines. And I've looked at all of them. And the tuning uh, for these machines, uh, Bruce Copen, as I've mentioned many times, is very famous for this. All of his circuits are just the same exact as this one. There's no electricity going through them. They're just simple, what I call flow patterns. Of course, here's a little electronic unit that was made um, about in the 90s. Pretty little unit. As usual, I've got them all, baby. But uh, the reality is, is that uh, there is a whole new tech coming out. I have special psychotronic radionic wires. I have special transfer of energy. You know, we've moved away from the stupid electrical wiring, the electromagnetic spectrum that has nothing to do with radionics, uh, the computerization of nothing, uh, the idiots that are out there talking about everything uh, while they sit there with uh, extremely sick and then tell you how they have the answers for everything. Or let's put it on a cell phone. So all of these things don't work. And nobody has any proof that anything they have does work. Now, here's what we do special as an organization. And I'm not going to show you the exact energy disk. But the first thing that we do here, which makes us so different, is that no matter what machine you have... Um, we have particular discs. Now, the first thing you got to do with a machine is you got to make sure that it can handle that energy. So if you're using an electric machine, here's our amplifiers. You have to change at this subatomic level how this machine takes in the energy from this machine. <laughs> That's right. So the whole idea is you have to understand that. You have to understand uh, that this... Um, in itself, cannot pick up psychotronic or radionic energies very well. So you have to modify it. How do you do that? Well, we used to do it uh, at the factory before we sent it to you. This becomes cumbersome, problematic, and adds to costs. Uh, and we would do that initially by using our special tachyonization, sacred symbols, and of course, we would change at the subatomic level uh, using our particular energy disks. So these disks are kind of like this, but we're not showing you the exact one. It's proprietary. When you buy something from us, you will get a activation disk. The activation disk will have a particular code here. This will be a radionic code similar to this. For this particular tool, this amplifier, this exact model that you will be able to put this under. This is your activator disc. This now changes. You leave it on there for 24 hours to, before you use it the first time. And then you leave it there permanently. This then allows this electronic, this electromagnetic tool to handle non-electromagnetic fields, but use the electricity as a amplifier, as a carrier wave, which of course is what tubes do in general. Tubes work by resonance. They're very fascinating. They're precursors to lasers, and I could go on for hours with that. But without that, you don't really have a serious uh, radionic unit, and that's why all the other radionic units that are made out there are all junk and really don't work well. 
So you have an activator disc and you're gonna, if you get our full set, you're gonna have an activator disc for your transmitter. Here's a transmitter. Now we used to again, put these type of things on here, which help now, what we've done is we built these energies into our activator disk, but it's not just tachyons and sacred energy. At a subatomic level, the energy within this disk and the actual radionic code that will be on it, as you said, I'm, we're not showing you those disks. You get it when they're, we're not advertising or letting people uh, copy this. And the same thing online, every disk will be different for the unit. So there'll be an activator disk similar to this, for this particular transmitter. And again, you leave it on the desk for 24 hours and then you leave it under there permanently. Super easy to use, but it's an activator disc. Very important. The other things that we do is we don't use wiring anymore in terms of uh, the ridiculousness of using copper wire and using electromagnetics to move non-electromagnetic energy fields. They're not computerized. They're any, that is all, you gotta be really stupid to think this is electromagnetic and uh, so forth. But of course, people are copying 1920 machines when electricity was, wow, <laughs> yeah, it powers light, Dr. Do. Look at it, look here. I mean, this is what we had. You gotta remember mass use of electricity probably didn't happen until the when is that, the 20s, 1900? I'm not sure when it hit the cities. And just like automobiles, the first automobiles were electric. Oh, somebody should tell Elon, monkey head. So the whole idea is that those are the kind of things that you actually run into. So you have to have an activator disc, which has tachyons and sacred energy in it, but more importantly, it at the subatomic level, it affects the grabbing and transmitting of this energy when we're uh, to the actual target and get it out there. Very, very critical. If you don't have that, using electrical components only takes a very tiny bit of the energy, which is a reason why most of these things don't work. It's important.